Radio frequency has recently become the latest treatment for dry eye syndrome. But why are we using it? Well, it all begins with my Bohmian gland dysfunction, which is a common causative factor in dry eye and causes evaporative dry eye disease. Evaporative dry eye disease means that there's not enough oil being produced in your tear film, and as a result, your tears dry up at a quicker rate. It accounts for over 80%, like 86%, almost 90% of dry eye disease. And so that's why today's video is so exciting. We're going to talk about radio frequency for dry eye and why you might want to include it as part of your dry eye treatment regimen. So let's get into it. All right, so mild MGD or dry eye syndrome treatments can include at-home care like doing eye drops, warm compresses, but for moderate to advanced meibomian gland dysfunction, that treatment often requires a multimodal in-office approach as well as your at-home maintenance. Recently, optometrists like myself have started utilizing radio frequency, which we'll just call RF from here on out, in their office to treat dry eyes. It's an innovative treatment modality that comes to us from aesthetics, much like IPL came to us from aesthetics, but it does offer promising results to help reduce dry eye symptoms for our patients. 